Okay, so there are four days left before the meet and greet with Koskesan, Kosfikte Asuma-san, and Hiroki Ina-san. And uh, I just, I just, um, I just knew today that we could give gifts to them. So I rushed this. I don't, I'm not good at um, traditional drawing, so I just wrote them a letter, which sucks as well. I hope I could give this to the um, one who will give this to them. I hope they will like it somehow. It's not colorful, but still. I have things to do in the next few days, and I have work, so this is the only time that I could whip up something. <laughs> anyway, um, bravo me for not knowing it sooner. I would have um, drawn something digitally. So, yeah, there's that. <laughs> Hello! So, I'm already in the convention, and as you can see, I'm already in my costume. Except for my boot. It it got torn apart when I got here and it's, it's so bad. I'm just waiting for glue now. And I haven't gone around yet. <laughs> and but she, she has. She is gonna buy a mug or two depending on what her decision is. A Nishinoya mug and an Oikawa mug. Who is more precious to you? <laughs> It's like picking, picking one of your children who will live, who will die. No, I'll let Nishinoya live. I'll let Nishinoya live? Yeah. And let Oikawa die? Yeah. It's not a hard decision. Really? Why? Because Oikawa can be a bitch. Well, there's the, the truth come out. Anyway, I'm... I'm gonna update later after I got my shoe. I'm going to um, give gifts for Hiroki and Kosuke. And I'm also gonna get the pre ordered um, bromides of them. So I'm gonna show it to you later. Hmm. Asuma, Kosuke, and uh, Hiroki Ina's um, interview was just done. I'm sorry, I can't really record inside. Like they repeatedly, uh, repeatedly said that no photos or videos. Strictly, no photos or videos. So I, uh, I just sat there. We missed the first part. Okay, so I'm gonna stop Sammy over here because she has way less information than I do. So I'm gonna pause this real quick and put some pictures of Hiroki and Kosuke here on the screen so um i got this from a friend who also attended the event she got the question uh, the uh, interview part down so the first question that they had is how did you start as an actor so here he started speaking in english showing off his skills and um he did his best, but it's, you know, he has a broken English, but it's cute anyway, so. Um, he said that he was, uh, he said that he was scouted by his manager and he was not interest back, interested back then in becoming an actor. But when he tried it, when he did become an actor, he was moved, he said that he was moved by the fans who are cheering for him so at that point on he, he became dedicated and continued his acting career career and um Kosuke said that um he became a stage actor because his friend introduced him to uh people they know so yeah he got connections our boy Kosuke got connections and um the second question is, what are the challenges that you face as an actor? 
So, Hiroki said that it depends on the character. So, for example, if your character um, fights with a sword, he has to learn how to fight with a sword too. Anyway, sword fight, uh, when his character needs to sword fight, he has to learn how to sword fight. So, for Kosuke, he said that... um, he had to learn how this character works like he has to study them and um he actually joked about he's he's now trying to study how to be like Jollibee and Hiroki is so opposed to the idea like he will steal that role from him <laughs> anyway moving on uh the third question is which character that you portray is your favorite so Hiroki said, being the cinnamon role that he is, he said that he thinks that the crowd, the people, the fans want him to say Suga, Sugawara Koshi. But actually, he said that he can't really choose one of his roles because they're all very precious to him. What a cute guy. And Kosuke straight up said, Oikawa Toru. Straight on, <laughs> because uh, the re- his reason was because uh, Oikawa is his first role. This was his debut role, so it was very special to him. And <laughs> after that, uh, the MC requested him to say "Yaho," so he was like "Yaho, Tobiyocha," and then. <laughs> The crowd said, uh, they chanted together, Iwachan, say Iwachan, please. So he did. He said, Iwachan. And you know um, how fangirls work, they screamed. So the fourth question is that can you tell the happen- happiest moment that you had as an actor? So um, they both said that. It, uh, it made them very happy when they see their fans laugh, cry, and um, support them. And Kosuke also said that he met a lot of people that helped him grow. And that now he is able to come overseas to meet his fans. And that's a very, a very happy moment for him. And so the fifth question is that what... Or uh, what advice can you give to the people here who are aiming to be an actor? And um, Hiroki said that uh, he was trying to say that um, when you're here, you, you should never forget to show gratitude to your fans. And Kosuke said that you will never know when you will uh, make your debut. So you should be prepared, be ready, study your character, and keep working hard to chase your dreams. And that's so cute. Anyway, so the next segment is the fan questions. So this is nothing too personal. It's just, um, you know, more. it's kind of more fun than the uh, usual questions. And... Uh, so the first question is, what roles would you like to have in the future? And um, Hiroki said that he wanted to be like a president or a prime minister or maybe Spider-Man. <laughs> and that, that's really high. Um, Kosuke said uh, Jollibee, straight up. He loves Jollibee so much. And Hiroki is like, no, you can't be Jollibee. No, no, no. He's... He's he's been talking English here and the here and there and it's just so cute. And um the second question is for Kosuke. He asked uh they asked like um have you ever uh done an ab- ad lib um and Kosuke said that he's not good at ad libbing and everyone was so surprised because uh, I was also so uh, I was also surprised when I heard that because as Oikawa, he seems like he would ad-lib a lot, but apparently not. He said that he's not good with ad-libbing and because he he studies the, sc- uh, the script, uh, he studies the character too much, and 
um, follow that. So yeah, he never he he's not good at ad libbing, guys. Anyway, the third question is for Hiroki, and he asked, out of all the characters that you portrayed, um, which one do you relate to the most? He said. Suga, Sugawara Koshi, because he is a pretty normal guy, you know, he's pretty chill, but he does not really like his role to be taken over by his kohai, which is Tobio. Well, in his case, maybe it's Suga, Su- the Suga role. <laughs> anyway, the fourth and last question is what is your reaction when you got invited o- to an overseas event? So, Hiroki said that he was really nervous because it's his first time here in the Philippines. But now, he's just so happy to meet everyone. And um, the sec- uh, uh, Koske. Koske said that he was worried that um, not many fans will come and meet him. But now he's just so happy and so surprised that the, a lot of people came to meet them. So yeah, he underestimated his power. <laughs> anyway, so the next thing that they did is that they made them um, speak Tagalog words that appears on the screen. Uh, that is where where I came in, and um, uh, I think the first one that they said was "ako ay ipinanganak sa blank." Hiroki is trying to show off his uh, English skills, and Koske is just um, struggling uh, here. <laughs> he was saying Japanese words in this one. Uh, the second words are ang paborito kong pagkain ay blank. So, uh, Hiroki said the words. Then, um, he said ad- adobo, but he said it like adobo. It's so cute. And uh, <laughs> I think he has a picture of it, like the the thing that he ate that same day or something. I- I'm not sure, but. Yeah, ad- ad- adobo is his favorite food right now. And Koske said, uh, Ang paborito kong pagkain ay Philippine meat. Like, that sounds wrong. <laughs> anyway, he said Philippine meat, but um, he tried again and he said lapu-lapu, which is a fish, a type of fish. I don't eat that, though. I don't eat that much fish, so. Uh, I guess he, he liked it. I guess he also ate one that day. (laughs) Anyway, they also made them say Mahal Ko Kayo, which is I love you. And the crowd went wild. It was amazing. These two. Anyway, so the next segment is actually a contest between the two of them. And since they are good at acting, they made them act. They... uh, they have two fish bowls and they have to pick a piece of paper from each one of them. And one says the role that they have to act and the other one has the like uh, the personality or the adjective of the uh, person or uh, the noun or the, the thing that they're going to act as. So Hiroki got a cheerful okama a cheerful okama and koske got an easily surprised dog or a nervous dog for short and here's the thing koske got on force in front of hiroki and oof the crowd went wild and <laughs> hiroki Hiroki started behaving more femininely. He's like, "Hi," and uh, I can't, I can't uh, describe everything that happened there. Everyone was screaming. Koske was on force. Hiroki is trying to speak with him. Uh, for some reason, Koske, the dog, is talking Japanese and some English there. 
<laughs> I was surprised that he didn't bark or anything. Anyway, so uh, after that, they were tied. So they made them pick another role. And um, they chose the setting this, this time. So their setting is in a school. And Hiroki got a role of the dog. And uh, Kosuke got uh, a drunk man role. So <laughs> Kosuke, Kosuke said something like, a student shouldn't be drunk or something. And it's so cute. Anyway, so it was Hiroki's turn to be on force. And... <laughs> Uh, he like uh, fake peed on the screen or something. Anyway, Kosuke stumbled on the stage like a drunk man, and they did their thing. They speak to each other, and uh, Kosuke is trying to touch uh, Hiroki, and Hiroki is like, "Don't touch the puppy, don't touch the puppy." <laughs> and Kosuke is like, uh, "I only know little English," and <laughs> Hiroki is like, "Anyong, ni hao." <laughs> and Kosuke's like, no, 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 Japanese, Japanese. Anyway, <laughs> they're so cute. Anyway, so uh, so uh, after that, um, Kosuke, uh, so they they have this um, these bottle of waters for them on the stage, and Kosuke got his own bottle of water. He sipped from it, then he um, crouched down to Hiroki and offered the drink to him. And Kosuke was like looking at him and he took a sip from the same bottle and yes, the fan service, the indirect kiss, the Oisuga fanfics are flourishing anyway. <laughs> so in the end, Hiroki won the contest and the loser, Kosuke, had to dance uh, um, he had to dance uh, a dance called Boom Boom by Momoland, a Korean one. And so Kosuke was actually struggling because the screen was behind him. There was no screen in front of him or something. So the screen was behind him. He was looking at the steps as he tried his best to follow them. So <laughs> it was so hard for him. So Hiroki just joined him. But in the end, they just started uh, dancing Gangnam style. And uh, anyway, they did their best. So uh, after that, um, they said their goodbyes to the fans. They promised to try and go back here in the Philippines. Kosuke said that he'll try to get a Jollibee next time. <laughs> and um, he also said that after after he, he gets home... He, he will start to work on the next Haikyuu stage play, which is the strongest team. And um, that's that. And they were they said that they're happy to be here. And anyway, so uh, after that, they went to their meet and greet, which I am not a part of because I didn't win. So if um, if you guys are uh, attended that and you get to have a meet and greet with Kosuke and Hiroki, just uh, share your share your experience uh, um, down below in the comments if you did. And if you were there but you're not in the meet and greet, that's fine too because you're like me. Um, you can also share the experiences that you had. Did you like their appearance? Did you like their activities? Uh, why Why did you? Why did you not? And um, yeah, that's it for the... Um, Kosuke and Hiroki event. Uh, like I said, I also went to day two as Mikoto Suo from K Project. I'm with Anna Kushima. So, <laughs> um, that but that's not important. That's not why you're here. So I'm just gonna end it here now. And yeah, stay safe, guys. Bye.